I'm very much a person that likes to use traditional art tools. The older the better. I love uh, old fashioned ink, which is thousands of years old. Uh, and of course one of my favourite things is graphite pencil, which has been around since the 1600s. But today we're looking at a new method, which is virtual reality. I've never really been a great fan of computer art and I've always used things like Photoshop as a tool to enhance or to promote the old-fashioned style of art. What I like about VR as opposed to say Photoshop or something like that, usually you're using a mouse or a stylus and you're working about this big. With virtual reality you're working this big, you're using your whole arm, it's like drawing a uh, big scale. So it has a nice pleasant feel, it's sort of user friendly in that way that uh, you get to use your whole body in a piece of art. Well here's the way I'm going to try and use a VR in a practical way. Firstly when I usually create a piece of art I use a whole series of thumbnail sketches. These are little drawings, very rough from all different angles to sort of nut out and think ideas. Maquettes is another way of working, you get, make a little model so you can look at it from all different angles and come up with ideas of uh, how to frame a painting. So I'm talking 2D artists using 3D methods to make 2D art. This is where virtual reality is uh, pretty handy because you can sort of create something three-dimensional and it doesn't have to be flush or great, it just has to be enough that you can move around it and get different angles and from there decide what sort of art you're going to do. So here's one example where I'm doing a big ape fighting a python and I've done this in virtual reality. I look around at different angles. I take snapshots which turn into JPEGs. From those JPEGs I can pop those into Photoshop. From Photoshop I can print that out, draw over it, photocopy it again, put it on a light box and what I've got is a weird angle that I would not have thought up in my own head or if I had it would have taken quite a long time to get there so virtual reality sort of got me to this point and now I can enjoy good old-fashioned nibs and pencil another program is called gravity sketch so in gravity sketch I'm now making a sculpture this time I'm doing a thylacine attacking a wallaby what I'm going to do with this uh, sculpture is print it out in 3D and then I've got my maquette. So this is how the 3D printing came out. I've got all these supports here which I'm just about to break away. Wow. It's going to waste a lot of plastic here. So I'm probably not getting the print setting right or something. Put the supports there to put it together and try to think maybe next time I probably should print it that way up. So then the supports can just pop off the back. Uh, it's not very good for delicate little ears and things. It's lucky to get this out at all. And so some of these legs I probably have to cut up and put back on like a model kit. I, might, I think I might do that. I think I might just pop it on like a model kit, paint it up. Paint can cover a multitude of sins. But the reason I want this, not just as a sculpture, but as a maquette. And that's probably enough, as rough as it is, for a maquette. However, I think VR has a lot more to offer. So I'm going to go back into Tilt Brush. I'm going to transport this image into Tilt Brush and then have a go on Tilt Brush with it and see if I can't do something. I'm just, uh, it's early days. I'm still learning. I'll probably look back at this video and think, yeah, I should have just done some, such and such. 
So anyway, I go back into virtual reality and what I do now is uh, transport the gravity sketch into tilt brush, play around with it a bit and give it some bells and whistles like snow and again I've got this thing where I can move around the object looking at it from different angles and from this I'll probably do a whole series of etchings. So I'm using this modern technology to do traditional art. To me, it's a thinking tool and a pretty cool one at that. Mm -hmm.